This week, we embark on the first leg of our Wide Beam Epic Voyage, a summer trip of four weeks, with the hope this year of getting past Oxford and all the way to Lechlade. Good morning, welcome back Good to the morning. channel. So, this is the start of our epic journey. <laughs> epic journey. <laughs> our month long cruise. This time we're going to try and go past Oxford. If the weather's nice, we'll yeah. cruise on up to Lechlade if we can. And this year, we're going to think about whether we're better prepared for this epic trip. <laughs> and hopefully we are. Um, but first of all, because I keep forgetting, and he's going to text me and tell me off if I forget, so a big hello <laughs> and shout out to Mark and Tina. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Plus we might see them up river somewhere. We might well do. Yeah. And we just um, this morning went past um, some of our followers on Silver Lining, I think. Yeah, narrow boat. boat. Beautiful yeah. white narrow boat. So, we don't know your names, but hello to you too. And we might see you later on. <laughs> we might do. <Yeah. laughs> Pop in. So, cruise thing today, we're not too sure where we're going. Well, Windsor. A massive plan, maybe Windsor. If Windsor's clear, we'll stop at Windsor. If Windsor's not clear, we'll keep going. Yep. See how we feel. So it was a beautiful day yesterday. I actually got burnt. <laughs> Put sun cream on too late. And yeah. uh, then today it's a bit sort of... Well, it was nice. Mizzly. Then cloudy and now it's misty rain, but it says it might clear up later. Yeah. So you never so, know. Onwards we go. thing on our preparation before this trip was Richard um, has now done some magic <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> we can now switch the immersion on without being plugged into shoreline yeah. um, and our hot water will heat from the batteries um, which are charged from the solar is that correct? Uh, yeah as long as we've got a good got day sunshine. Today, not great. Not so good, but we will have hopefully been travelling quite a while, so we should oh, have we'll have plenty. Water. But even if we were moored up and we didn't have hot water, we'd put the immersion on and fire the engine. Yeah. And it's only half hour and the tank would be boiling off. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot more efficient. Than yeah. So, um, yeah, as I say, you did some witty magic and now we um, can use the immersion whilst we're off shoreline. So. Happy day. Preparation number one. That's that. Nice.
we've just been through Bovney Lock. <laughs> what? Stop laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just tried to say that and it just all went wrong. And um, we got a message from Narrowboat Silver Lining, so we can now say hello, Kate and Dave. Hi. <laughs> so we now know their names and definitely meet up for that drink of the chat. Oh yeah, if come up. River. If we don't see you on the way up, we'll meet you on the way back down. <laughs> And um, they're continuing the theme of are we prepared? We now also have water butts, so um, they were a bargain actually, weren't they? Those water butts, oh, yeah, um, good old Audi. So we've got two water butts, and that gives us another half a tank, doesn't it? 200 litres, so yeah. yeah, just under half a tank, yeah, which so is good, yeah. So that sort of means, I mean, obviously, we yeah. will still have to stop for water, but it does mean that we've got sort of a contingency half a tank um, once we start running quite low so uh, well, we keep feeding it in slowly so we don't want to leave it in the water bus too long no do we? we don't know so when we, we fill up we'll store it too fill long. them first yeah but yeah 700 litres that should be all right yeah <laughs> I hope so. pretty good yeah. <laughs> yeah and the sun's now come out it's rained it's winded it's and now lovely it's, day now now it's nice and sunny so bonus <laughs> Just us. Yeah. Take like the whole lock up. And this is the second time of trying to say this because we just had carnage with, I think, trainee rowers. <laughs> yeah, about 20 of them. <laughs> but it's not just that, is it? It's their support boat that doesn't know what's going on either. No, no. It's sort of kids <laughs> teaching kids and uh, yeah, slightly hairy moment there. There are some massive houses here. Oh no. Richard just said that if we lived in one of these houses we'd need radios to like find out where each other was yeah i wouldn't see you for a week i'm going on holiday i'm going down the other end of the house i think he wants one that one back there <laughs> it had a man cave <laughs> so we didn't know if we were going to stop in windsor we decided not to there was one mooring spot but we sort of dithered a bit didn't we and, um, and then went ah yeah now we carry on because it's actually quite it has rained but it's actually so, uh, warm enough but cool enough to do a bit of a longer journey yeah it's a good traveling day yeah a good traveling day so um we're going to do cook them we think today get to cook them it's actually quite quiet on the river isn't it apart from this apart little from bit <laughs> yeah. yeah but the rest of it we were going along on our own for ages yeah we? we were yeah lovely we've been lucky with the locks yeah straight in yeah uh, so yeah all going well Yeah, there. There. we don't need to worry about that now. It's no, like, oh, no. Yes. So hopefully <laughs> uh, that makes us more prepared. I feel like um, a Girl Scout or something like that. Uh, you're not guy. going back to the brownies again. Yeah, going back to the brownies again. Oh, are you prepared? Be you prepared? That was their motto, wasn't it? Uh, well, I, I don't think know so. if it was theirs. So I was never in the brownies. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have made a good brownie. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. You could have been in the yeah. Pixie Club. <laughs> ah. There we go. The sounding bridge. Yeah, we're going under the sounding bridge. Hang on. <laughs> no, that didn't really work, did it? Um, and what else have we got? We've also got um, obviously our water machine now. So last year when we did our epic journey, um, 
we had to carry bottles of water for miles. Oh. <laughs> we did have, <laughs> from the hills? For miles. Oh. Yeah, we did have um, our trolley, which we got en route, didn't we? We did but, get it. Um, yeah, we picked that up in Henley, didn't we? We were forever lugging massive bottles Filling of water. Filling that up and then like walking along like a broken donkey. Yep. Yeah, so, it's not fun. No, so... Um, yeah, that's another another positive now that we've got the water filter, so we can drink straight from the tap. Well, after it's been through the filter. Obviously. Put it through that machine and then jobs are good. Over the bollard, I know we did our uh, tossing and tying of ropes, but that was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, we did sort yeah. of um, had to sort of do a, a toss and a mudjiggy. You got it on though. I did get it on, yeah. Mind you, I couldn't have got you any closer. No, <laughs> very true. I did say you're gonna have to get me close on this one, otherwise I'm never gonna do and it. And then it's like, and how am I gonna do mine? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, came through unscathed, which is always a bonus, and. Um, Probably another thing or final thing with are we prepared for our work, which I hope we are. <laughs> yeah, but there, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> are we prepared for our voyage? If we're not oh. right now, we're on it, so it's too late. Oh, We've yeah, now also got our fold up bikes, which means that we can, because obviously we don't have the car, we can sort of go and explore a bit further. Get a bit we? further out, yeah. <laughs> and also for a bit of shopping or whatever. If it's not too much, we can just have our little rucksacks on. I was going to say, yeah, otherwise I'm going to end up carrying it like a donkey on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> not your way, I'd have a trailer. <laughs> so we're um, uh, at Cliveden, we've just seen the house. It's lovely. Yeah. Headed up towards Cookham Lock, and uh, we're going to go through Cookham Lock, we've decided, see if we can um, get moored up on there the on, uh, on the reach on Marsh Meadow. If not, then we might have to turn around, come back, no. and see if there's space uh, on the little cheeky uh, cook and lock mooring. So, let's see Let's how see. we go. Thank you so much to Chris and Jen for the super thanks, it's so appreciated.
to cook them. Ah, we got there. Large meadow. <laughs> we actually managed to moor up, which is fantastic. Yeah, I'm not going any further. No. <laughs> We'd have just tied it to the bridge. So that was uh, <laughs> six hours today, I think. Yeah. From Runnymede to Cookham. Yeah, long day. Yeah, but not it's been too quite bad. easy. Yeah. yeah, it's been easy enough. Yeah. So we'll be continuing our voyage. <laughs> see whether or not we're prepared. We're not. <laughs> I think we are. It's got <laughs> loads of phrases in it, so we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that one today. Like always, give us a cheeky little like. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and. Ping, the notification <laughs> bell <laughs> and we'll see you next time <laughs> bye, bye.